What's up YouTube? Time for a gear review. The gear I'm reviewing today is the Quest 2. Normally I like to get items, play with them for a while, test them, and then kind of give them the pros, cons, and my assessment after using it for a while. This is gonna be more of a should you buy now or should you wait? Spoiler alert, you should probably wait. All the specs are out there, yes, it's a better performing headset on a tactical level. More powerful processor, better screens, better resolution, higher refresh rate. But here's been my experience. I had a Quest 1, I pre-ordered the Quest 2. I was very excited about this thing coming as a kid in a candy store like most people are when new things drop that they want. Adventures with Jay of how this went down. It tells me, hey, you have to link this to a Facebook account. I open my Oculus app on my phone, I log in, all my games are there that I paid for the Oculus, it says add a headset, I go to add the headset, it says this has to be connected to a Facebook account. Go to connect to a Facebook account, it says this Facebook account is already connected to an Oculus device. I'm a little confused because I didn't connect my Facebook to my Oculus account. Factory reset the Oculus, try and set everything up again. Same issue, your Facebook account's already linked. I reach out to customer support, which <laughs> as we know is just some bot. I send them a request, let them know, here's the issue I'm having. Can't connect to my Facebook account, can't use my device. Get on the internet, find out there's a ton of people having the same issue. Within the app, it has a feature to merge your Oculus account with your Facebook account in order to delete essentially the Oculus account and have it all run under Facebook. With the Oculus 2, that's your only option because it says you must log in with a Facebook account in order to use this device. Customer service already told me once it's connected to a Facebook account, it's stuck. You can't connect your Facebook account to any other Oculus account. I back everything out. I get the device to connect through Facebook. It actually links to my account. It merges the two accounts and none of my games are there. So now my Oculus is actually connected to my Facebook account, my current Facebook account. And if I log into my Oculus account through Oculus, I can see all my games. And when I put on my headset, it has a different username and no games. Once again, reach out to customer service. Here's what happened. It says these two accounts merged, but they clearly didn't merge because none of my games are there. I don't wanna give away hundreds and hundreds of dollars because your systems don't work correctly. We're looking into this, but we know we're not, they're not really looking into this. Reset everything again, create a new Facebook account so that hopefully I have a Facebook account that I just created that won't be connected to some Oculus account even though I never connected to an Oculus account and let's try and merge again because if I go on my computer right now I can still log into the Oculus account and see all my games and I can log into the Facebook account that it created and see that it is not connected to any Oculus account. Uninstall, reinstall, log back in, set up device, merge the two accounts. Put on my Oculus, it successfully merged with my new Facebook account. All my games are there. Banging on all cylinders, right? Not so much. Go to purchase a new game. I was real excited about playing The Walking Dead. That looks tight. Go to purchase it. Can't process the credit card. I go to the Oculus account site, add a payment method. Can't add the payment method. Try a different credit card, same issue. Reach out to my credit card company to make sure that it's not rejecting. They say, nobody's even trying to make a charge. Try PayPal, can't add it. I can't add a payment method. This is another problem that a bunch of people are having with the Oculus too. I finally get chat on customer service and explain the issue. Hey, finally got this thing to work. Now I can't add a payment method. They can see my previous purchases on the same exact card that I'm trying to add and they can verify, yep, those purchases went through for the previous Oculus. Nobody can explain why it won't let me add a payment method. I can play my old games, which I could have played anyway if I had just kept my other Oculus. I've got the new device. It's very shiny, very new, and I can't buy any new games. Almost a month after this device arrived, I still can't really use it. If you don't have a Quest device right now or any sort of VR, then I'd say go ahead and buy this thing. If you have a working Oculus right now and you're enjoying it, I'd probably wait. Wait till they work out all these kinks with the Facebook account, the merging, the adding a billing method, and your Facebook has to merge with your Oculus account, and your Facebook can only merge with one, and all these other restrictions they put on this 
when it boils down to, I bought a gaming device so I could play VR games. Not so I could be on social media, not so that I could create a Facebook account, but so that I could play VR games. Create its own online network, just like Xbox Live, just like PlayStation, and that's where you go to game. I don't necessarily want to game on VR with my friends on Facebook. And I think most people who use Facebook as social media probably have hundreds and hundreds of friends that they're not going to try and play VR games with. You know who you're going to play VR games with? Your other friends who have VR that you link up with, just like Xbox Live and all these other online gaming platforms. This is just my two cents. Obviously, there's some frustration in here. You would be too if you had this thing for going on a month and still can't really use it. I hope this video was helpful. If you were on the fence as to whether or not you should upgrade now or upgrade later, I hope it gave you some insight into the risks of upgrading now. I'm not saying that this is actually going to happen to everyone. I do know from research online, these kind of issues have happened to a lot of people. And apparently I'm the lucky one who the issues, all the issues happen to the same person. 